me Ayana. Hope you're doing fine and today we're going to be learning about apostrophes. Okay? So in this video you don't have to learn so much about it. It's really easy and you don't really have to think more or anything. Okay? So let's get started. Now, before I start, I want to ask you what an apostrophe is, how do you use it, when to use it, yeah, how does it look like, okay? So I want you to think about those first, so I'm waiting until you think them, so then I'll be showing you in the board, so I think you'll double check it. Well, I won't be able to give so much time. Yes, you're correct. Okay. So, basically, an apostrophe. Okay. So, listen today. Apostrophes basically look like this. Okay. And it is, now you, there should be a good feature that you should notice about this, okay? That this is the same thing as a comma. But still, my friends, we use commas at the bottom of a sentence, okay? At the bottom of a word, for an example. Okay, if I write, I like banana comma apple and so on this comma you put down that means at the bottom of a word of a sentence okay but unlike a comma you put apostrophes at the top of a word in a sentence. So basically, apostrophes are the same as commas, but you, the place you use it is only different thing. Okay? So, yes, I asked you another question. Where to use it? Yes, you're correct. There are two ways that you can use it. There are two incidents. There are two ways that you can use it. So I'll be teaching you one way and again, I'll be teaching the second way also. So, the first way is apostrophe of contraction. Okay? So, apostrophes of contraction is basically really easy. You don't really have to, like I said, you don't really have to think about anything in this lesson. It's just so easy. So this is the first one we're going to be talking about. And secondly, we'll be talking about apostrophes of yep, possession. Okay? Apostrophes of possession. Okay, now when I say apostrophes, of contraction, your brain should get the main idea of this. Tell me what your brain should get. Now, just imagine that this is your brain. Okay, it's your brain. And the idea you should straight away get when I say past of your contraction is making a word short. Okay? So basically, in apostrophes of contraction, you're basically making a word short by dropping some letters. We're not making one word short, though. You're basically adding two words together and making one word out of it. So, for an example, just imagine the first word is called A plus B. So, this is the first word 
and this is the second word. Okay. Oh, just never mind about it. Just forget about that story, you know. So it's basically you're adding two words together, dropping some letters and making it short to make it one word. Okay? Yeah, and you cannot add whatever two words you want. Like, for an example, dad get, dad got, dad has, or well, dad has you can, but dad got, no. So you can't just add any random two words and make one word out of it. There are certain two words that you need to add. Okay? So this is what you should get to your brain. <laughs> okay? Yes! So now it's time. So, um, yes, for an example, in this contraction, let's take, he is, for an example, he is. Do you know how to shorten this and make it contraction? We'll just try it. If you don't know, just try it. You're correct. It is like this. Now there are some features of this word, okay? Okay. So I can tell you what, why, like what does it stand for, why are we using this apostrophe for? Yes, apostrophe, you're using the apostrophe to show that you've dropped some letters. Okay, so never forget the apostrophe, okay, because apostrophe always shows that you dropped some letters and contra making contraction, well, apostrophe is a contraction, is all about that, making making two words, one word and making it short, okay? But dropping some letters, so never forget the apostrophe. And also, there's another really important rule that you always have to follow when you're doing this, is you can't just add the apostrophe wherever you want or wherever you think it's nice and wherever you think. It's just choiceless. You can't choice. I mean, there's no choice. You always have to do. There's a specific place, specific way. There's a specific letter that you need to drop. Okay? You can't just drop any letter you want and just add it. No. Okay? You always need to learn that specific place you need to add the apostrophe, the specific letter that you need to drop. There are some more things to learn. Now I'll be giving you, okay, I'll just keep this as an example, and I'll be giving you some a uh, things, okay, so like some words for you to change it. He is, you don't have to change this, but I've already changed it. It is he has, uh, I'll just erase this, okay, um, will not, uh, yeah, shall not, oh, sorry. And I'll give you one more, um, she is. Okay, I'll just say, tell you they are. Okay. I want you to turn all these into uh, shortened words. And let's just five. It won't take so long. Uh, yeah, so this is the way. Uh, now, I think you have done it. I think you have done it, and I'm hoping that. So now, we can double check it. Okay, so shall not is a little bit hard. Okay, I want 
you to guess what you say for shall not. Yes, you might think it's shalt, okay, whatever, shalt. No, it's wrong. It's not shalt or whatever. Okay, it's a little hard to say also. It is basically shant. So you do it like this. So here, shant. This is the way you say shant. So some words are tricky. You just have to learn where to add the comma, uh, sorry, the apostrophe, uh, and which letter you need to drop. Okay? So will not is won't. I think you've got that correct. It is is it's. He has now my there, there is a little um, random puzzle here we need to solve, right? Uh, now, can you see? But it is also, you write the word and put the apostrophe and write S. He also, he, apostrophe, S. So it, you can't tell whether they're saying it is or it has. Okay, you can say here whether it is he is or he has, unless it's really like this. Yes, obviously. Okay, he, you can, yeah. But basically, like uh, if we say he, yeah, he's a ball. He's a ball. Well, yeah. Anyway, uh, just forget about it. Okay. So just remember for is and has, you basically just, it's the same. You can't tell whether it's it, it is or it has. Or here you can say that it's he is or he has. Okay, so just watch those. And yes, that's it for uh, apostrophe of contraction. And um, yes. So, yeah. Bye-bye. See you in my next video. And in my next video, I'll be teaching you about the apostrophe of possession. Okay, bye-bye. See you.